Sebastian, do you want like a real? I feel like I should give you a real introduction. Would you mind? Uh, I would like, love one. Circling back. Okay, okay, you go back there. Sure. And I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, our cavalcade of beloved Italian Americans continues tonight with a hugely successful comedian. New episodes of his new show, Bookie, premiere Thursdays on Max. Please welcome Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> So do you guys know each other? Oh, wait, we did that <laughs> How are you? How old are your kids now? I got a six-year-old daughter, four-year-old son. Okay. So, kind of in the same boat. And yeah. where are you on, like, Elf on the Shelf, Santa, letters, all that kind of stuff right now? So I'm putting my daughter to sleep the other night. She goes, Daddy, I think you eat the cookies and you drink the milk and you hide the eggs. And I wasn't ready for this, because she's six. I'm thinking maybe nine, ten they start. Yes. And I, I walked out of the room. Uh, crying. <laughs> <laughs> and I told my wife, I go, she don't believe in Santa? What's going on at school? Are the kids, you know? So my, my wife got in a text thread with all the mothers, and some of the mothers like, we can't lie to our kids about Santa. And I'm like, lie? That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, so uh, yeah. I, I, I'm thinking of hiring. A Santa. It's a good idea. To get in a, a Christmas Eve and, and then wake up my kids and go, Santa's here, and they get a glimpse of him because I'm not ready to let the magic go. Well, I like that idea. I think that's. And I tell you, one time we, I had a friend whose uh, his wife, his mother, was having visions from Jesus, and she moved, went to a hotel and started having ordering dinner for Jesus every night. We had one of the writers here on the show call her and pretend to be Jesus and tell her to stop doing it. <laughs> and it worked. By God, it worked. So I think that's not a terrible idea. What are you going to do? Do you have, like, a party? Do you have people over? What's your plan for Christmas? We love to throw parties at our house. Okay. Uh, we had a big Christmas party last year. But the problem is no one ever invites us over to their house. Is that true? And, yeah, we, we get no invitations. Still wait one for you. Uh, <laughs> so I look at the party, I go, no, no, we haven't been to anybody's house here. <laughs> so I put a kibosh on the party this oh, year. Oh, wow. I want to see if we get in any invitations. And up to this point, nothing. Nothing. So, <laughs> right. Who are kids? Yeah, but it, it, I, yeah, go ahead. You, would you go to everything you're invited to? No, right? So if, if you had a party, I'd go. Don't, don't be careful. <laughs> Ray doesn't have parties. No, you don't have you parties, know, do you? I think he invited me over to see the movie, and I, I couldn't go. Right. Because right, I was out of town. Right? Uh, yeah. Is I, that what you're referring to? No, 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 no. I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm saying be, no, no, no. I'm saying be careful, because I'm going to give you an invite. I'm, I'm say, coming. I'm all coming. Right. I mean, all right. be heard nice. It. You heard it. Can we? <laughs> are these people who are, these people you've had to your house who have not um, extended an invitation, can you name any of them? Are there any famous people that we can go through? Listen, I, I, I don't hang out with a lot of Hollywood types. Some, I, though. I know you do. <laughs> OK. <laughs> right? However, and I'm not bragging here, but Lionel Richie came to my party. Now, I, I OK, that's okay? big, right. But the way he did it was beautiful. He, he came in, gave me a nice bottle of champagne, he stayed for 26 minutes, <laughs> said hello, and left. Can I ask you, do you have a piano in your home? I do, but it's not Lionel Richie piano. Yeah. But I think maybe when Lionel Richie comes to a house and sees a piano, he goes, I am getting out of here before somebody forces me to play that piano for them. If I played the piano, I'd be playing it wherever I went. You're not Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like to cook. Would you cook for these events, for these family uh, things? I gave up cooking. This was about six years ago. You did? Yeah. I, I, I... <laughs> for the holidays. Oh, the holidays. okay. All right. I decided to make meat, steak, right, for about 12 of my family members. Well, I started to serve the steak. I started getting complaints. It's, I, I, it's not, you know, it needs to be medium rare. Well, I, listen, when I cook steak, it's one temperature. This ain't a restaurant, right? <laughs> I'm not cooking a order. 
so my wife was like, what, you know, I want it yeah. well. And I said, come on, come outside. We got into a little argument. I had a Santa hat on, all right? <laughs> I got so mad, I took the Santa hat off, and I chucked it over the hedge. And I, you know, you do it. <laughs> and, uh, and that's the last time we did any type of cooking. At wow, the never <laughs> again. That's so, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. You, uh, you got this new show. It's very funny, and uh, it really hits close to home because I have like I have a lot of this kind of bookie activity going on mm. in my family. I won't yeah. mention who, but my cousin Sal. And, um, <laughs> And this guy is a bookie yeah. who is uh, struggling, fair mm -hmm. to say. And yeah, navigating the world of kind of legalized gambling. Yes, and, it's uh, tough to be a bookie nowadays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it takes him into a lot of different uh, worlds in Los Angeles. You know, I'm collecting money from a trust f uh, fund kid, I'm housewife and what have you. So it's kind of fun to go into these different environments. And uh, The first guy we see is Ray in your Ray show. Ray opens okay. it up, he's yeah. phenomenal. He, he was a great, <laughs> great. Oh, oh. I got confused when I was watching because I was watching both and I was like, wait a minute, I got the wrong one on. I got Ray's movie on. <laughs> I actually didn't know you guys were in each other's thing yeah, until yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he was great. You hear his voice and it's like, oh God, it's Ray Romano. It's a hit and run though. It's like, I'm, I'm only on for like a minute. The rest. You don't have to distance yourself from <laughs> Sebastian. It's... No, no, it's a, that's why the show's great. That's why the show's great. <laughs> Charlie Sheen is on the show Charlie also. Charlie Sheen is in it. It's, uh, it's a Chuck Lorre project, so they're coming together. That makes it even less likely that Charlie Sheen would be in this show, and yet there he is in the show with you. Yeah, so it was great. Never worked with him before. He was so gracious, such a nice guy, really seasoned actor. See, now he's a guy, if you invite him over, he's not leaving early. He's not gonna leave after 26 <laughs> minutes. He's gonna be there for the night. He's gonna be yeah. in that piano. He's gonna be... Yeah. It's a good you know? balance, Lionel <laughs> and Charlie. Nice, nice and then you have another, you have a new stand-up tour that you're uh, yeah, preparing called, right uh, now. Yeah, it's It Ain't Right. Tickets are on sale right now. And uh, it's, uh, <laughs> what is it? Can you give us like a little um, uh, of why it's called It Ain't Right? It ain't right that Ray uh -oh. is reading with a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> In his bed. I'm, I'm listening to this. I go, shouldn't he maybe mount something <laughs> on the thing? What is it? Well, so how is that even, out. like, how does it work? You're like a cop, like, looking through a house at an oh, intruder. You, you, you lean back and you rest it on your chest like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what to get him for Keep Christmas, at least. Maybe we'll get him a, uh, maybe a Kindle? I don't know. It's just still reading books at night. <laughs> Have you guys ever thought about going on a tour together? No, after tonight we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do yeah. Right. You can have a couch. <laughs> he don't need me. He don't need me on. This guy sells out the garden. He don't need me the on the plastic seat cover tour. I oh, can see I it now. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> well, it's great to have you guys here. Both you're Fun, both man. great in each other's things. Uh, uh, new episodes of Bookie. You can watch it Thursdays on Max and tickets for the It Ain't Right Comedy Tour on SebastianLive.com. Sebastian Maniscalco, Ray Romano. Thank you for being Thank here, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ray, we'll be back Thanks, with man. Paul Russell. <laughs>